The best list you could be on in Hollywood is a cast list, but some unlucky folks have found their way onto the blacklist. And former co-stars may have been the reason they landed there. From Clueless to Grey's Anatomy, these are the top 10 actors who got their co-stars blacklisted. Stacey Dash is a face you might recognize from the hit film Clueless. She managed to make her career crash and burn in a fashion that is almost impressive. Dash starred as the sassy, fashionable best friend to share in the 1995 film and was well loved by fans of the film. She did a great performance. That is her most notable role, but she had many other film and TV credits around this time. Some highlights from the fall of Stacey, Stacey Dash include her saying that Black History Month shouldn't be a thing and that transgender people should go to the washroom in bushes in 2016, referring to other actors inappropriately when they try and speak up against racial injustices. That just happens randomly. She also claimed feminism is ruining men. She kind of blacklisted herself with every action she has committed in recent years, though she has apologized for things she has said and done in the past, she is still not getting much work in Hollywood. Rebecca Ferguson has just given a killer performance in the second Dune film, and while on the press tour, she might have also killed another actor's career if she had revealed their name. Rebecca Ferguson is one of the internet's favorite actresses right now for good reasons. She seems very grounded, smart, sweet, and just is a really good actress. So when she dropped in a recent interview that she had once been screamed at on set by an unnamed former co-star, people were quick to start combing through her films in search of the culprit. People were taking this very seriously as Rebecca also said the encounter made her cry. The leading theory is that it was Hugh Grant that had screamed at her. People would back this theory up online with past stories from his co-stars and people who worked on set with him about how he was rude and difficult. That actually caused him to not get fully blacklisted when he was younger, but it did make him lose out on a couple roles. He did claim that the movie Did You Hear About the Morgans caused opportunities to dry up for him. Claiming that, Hollywood gave me up because I made such a massive turkey with that film with Sarah Jessica Parker. Whether I wanted to or not after that, the days of being a very well-paid leading man were suddenly gone overnight. It's unclear if he was the one who yelled at Ferguson, but he did for sure yell at a woman while working on the set of the movie Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Star of the 1930s, Mae West was an absolute bombshell of the era. She was known for her suggestive performances and outfits and overall bold depictions of being a woman and the female body. She was blacklisted by a pretty unexpected co-star, the Production Code Administration, or PCA. The PCA was created to censor media to uphold strict moral guidelines. It was the 30s after all. It was used to adjust American media and that is where Mae West operated due to her performances always having a hint of something they shouldn't. According to the PCA, many of them were censored. She was censored so many times that it was easier for a studio to just not hire the star in the first place. She was actually temporarily banned from the screen at one point. She did find a few roles through the 1940s, but from 1943 to 1960, there was little work for her on screen. It was the 1960s and 70s that took her off that blacklist again and she made a few more films before passing in 1980. Thora Birch made a name for herself in the 1993 film Hocus Pocus as young Danny Dennison. She then began starring in various TV shows and movies and even on Broadway. But it was a 2010 Broadway contract that would cause her to lose everything. While working on the 2010 off-Broadway revival of Dracula, Birch's father allegedly threatened a castmate with physical harm and it resulted in her being fired and not rehired for a while. The actor that was threatened remains unnamed to this day, but allegedly was involved in a scene with Birch in which he was directed to rub her back. According to Birch's father, Birch was uncomfortable with this and the threat was meant to convey that. The director did not agree with the father's behavior and Birch was of course fired. This isn't the only reason why Birch rarely worked though. According to the American Beauty star, she spent some time in her youth upset and upsetting others intentionally. Vanessa Marquez was known for various film credits, but most of her fame came from the TV show ER, in which Marquez starred alongside George Clooney. Marquez would actually go on to accuse Clooney of having a hand in blacklisting Vanessa from ER and Hollywood in general. Vanessa was in the TV show for three seasons before being let go and written off. It was unclear why, but Vanessa soon shared that George Clooney and other actors on the show had acted inappropriately towards her on the TV show set. Not saying that Clooney was the one doing it, she just named him and said that she experienced bad behavior every day while working on the show. Vanessa says she complained to someone about the onset inappropriate actions and claims that that was the reason why she was taken off the show. So she said she was fired for complaining. George Clooney has directly acknowledged the accusations. In 2017, he said he had nothing to do with Vanessa being blacklisted and that he actually didn't even realize she was. Linda Fiorentino is at the beginning of her Hollywood journey and things looked promising. She had a considerable amount of credits in the 90s and early 2000s, including a role in the Men in Black movies. But now she has seemed to disappear 
appear and be considered a former actress. The reason for this sudden change might have had something to do with Dogma star Kevin Smith, who also wrote and directed that film. Smith went on record and destroyed Linda's reputation. She had been labeled difficult to work with, among other things. Nowadays, many people actually disagree with these claims and consider her to have been very hardworking and talented. At the time, though, she just didn't have enough star power to come back from the claims set against her. Charlie Sheen was once on top of the world, even reported to have been paid just under $2 million per episode while starring in the show Two and a Half Men. But he soon was blacklisted and pushed out of Hollywood, partly because of his own actions, but also former co-star and ex-wife Denise Richards accused Sheen of bad behavior, and that only added more reason to keep the man out of the game. In the year 2000, Denise Richards and Charlie Sheen met on the set of Good Advice and then began a serious relationship the next year after Richards guest starred on Spin City. The pair would end up getting married and having two kids. But a few years later, in early 2006, Richards ended up filing for divorce and a few months after that, taking out a restraining order against her former husband. The order required Sheen to stay 300 yards away from Richards and he could only see their children if he was supervised. The reason Richards felt she needed the order was because she claimed that Sheen had spoken violently towards her and was rough with her physically. Sheen would later go on to be accused of similar things by other women he went on to date and marry. The actor did other things all by himself though that ended up getting him blacklisted. He used substances that are not legal and would behave poorly on sets and more. The actor had said in 2018 that he is trying to turn things around. Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey is mainly known for his starring role on the TV show House of Cards, but like a real House of Cards, once a public caught wind of past actions, everything came crashing down. 2017 was the year of Spacey's fall from grace. Anthony Rapp, who you might recognize from the movie Rent or the TV series Star Trek Discovery, accused Spacey of acting inappropriately towards him when he was underage. The incident would have happened a few decades before 2017. Spacey was of course fired from the show House of Cards very soon after the news was released and the show continued on for one more season without him. Rapp was not the only actor that accused Spacey of the inappropriate behavior. Soon more actors were coming forward with stories and Spacey went to court. He was ultimately found not guilty but the damage to his career had already been done and the actor was blacklisted. Sandra Locke was a big star in the late 60s, early 70s and just didn't act but also directed too. She starred in films alongside Clint Eastwood and the pair really hit it off dating for quite a while. They were the it couple starring in films like The Outlaw Josie Wales and Every Which Way But Loose. Unfortunately, the pair eventually broke up and it was disastrous for Locke's career. They broke up in 1989, but it kind of dragged on for a few years. Eastwood had more overall star power and connections to major Hollywood elites than Locke did, or even if they were both connected to someone, it's assumed that the person would then take Eastwood's side instead of hers. Soon, Locke wasn't getting much work and was essentially blacklisted from Hollywood. While it has never been confirmed, technically, many people, including Locke, believe that her blacklisting was because of Eastwood, that he used his power and connections to effectively end her career because after the breakup, her working life went up in flames and his was completely fine. Isaiah Washington had all the potential to make it big. He was starring in a main role on an incredibly popular TV show, Dr. Preston Burke on Grey's Anatomy. He had a number of film credits under his belt before that and was just an all around good guy until he threw it all away. According to the book by Lynette Rice, How to Say a Life, The Inside Story of Grey's Anatomy, a fight between Washington and McDreamy, or Patrick Dempsey, broke out on set and caused the domino effect that led to Washington's firing and blacklisting from Hollywood. According to interviews in the book, one of the men was late to set one day, so the next day the other decided to get payback and be late instead. Tensions got high and soon the two men were brawling in studio. Washington apparently pushed Dempsey up against a wall and began shouting in his face, and it wasn't until Washington brought the F word that is bad that is used to describe gay people that everything stopped. The word was used in context of another actor in the show who was known to be gay, so really bad. Washington ended up apologizing, but then used the word again at the Golden Globes and like very publicly in an interview, and that was kind of the moment that cemented everything, he was gone. Other Grey's Anatomy actors condemned his behavior and soon Washington wasn't seen much in popular media anymore. Thanks so much for watching everyone, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later. Bye. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize I'm talking about a blacklist and I'm wearing black. Look at that. The black. Ooh. Linda. Ooh. Linda for Fiorentino. That's what we're going to go with.